Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Will Patterson and I'm a logo designer and today I'm going to be showing you a process of a logo design that I have done for a church, which believe it or not, churches do have logo designs and I do get asked to design for the certain churches, apparels and businesses. So this is my logo design process. This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. So I was commissioned by Upward Church to design a logo for them and I did and it was a typographic logo in a signature style but they wanted to change it as it didn't fit them properly and I thought it, the logo looked great but I did what the client had asked for because it wasn't just a client that I was working with it was another designer for that church so I was helping him with my logo design expertise uh, to go ahead and create a new design with him and we would sit together basically over Skype to talk about it and to work together. So you can see here that I've got a bunch of documents open here and I'm gonna find the first one that I, I started working on uh, for this so we can see what's going on. Now when we started the logo design process, we weren't looking for anything flashy, we're just looking for ideas and concepts to the brand and after the brief, they really wanted just an icon that they could use. So we were fiddling around with the word you for Upward Church and I came across some of these weird shapes and I was basically just creating different shapes and getting my creative juices flowing. And it looks bad at first, but that is okay. We started to move into a monogram sort of scene over here. And I was seeing where the word could fit in and whether it symbolizes what they mean because at the logo design that they had beforehand wasn't the best logo. It was basically just up with an arrow pointing upwards, which was way too obvious. So I started experimenting with here and we created this cool little monogram going on here. And I kept on going, creating different shapes, little houses, little different shapes and a monogram, which was too vintage, but I loved the idea of that one. And we basically just moved into a different document. And this new document here, basically had some mood boarding stuff up here, which is a bunch of pictures that we liked. And this is a really important part of the design process because basically if a client gives you a brief, they need to give you a stylized brief as well, which is basically a mood board. And that is just to gather the mood of the general company. So basically we've got here Fitco and these other icons going on here. And you can all notice that they all have got sharp edges to them or nearly all of them apart from Fitco have this arrow and we were fiddling around with this idea of an arrow for quite a while but i wanted to symbolize what they meant which was to go upwards in their relationship with jesus which is what they wanted in their brief uh, to always be excelling in life and to know that we're not doing life alone and that was the idea of the brand and that's what we needed to get across and this is part of the low design process so we started playing around again with these shapes around here and then we've got these other ones here where it goes a bit funny. We've got these weird shapes. And the reason why I always duplicate these is so I can do this. I can look at the story behind it because there is always a storyboard. You see here we've got up in this icon sort of bit here. We've got this one there and I played around with some new ideas here. And the trick with logo design is to not be too pretentious to make mistakes. And you can see here every single one of these isn't a mistake, but there's quite a few mistakes going on. And I didn't want to just go ahead and limit myself to it. We created this little V going on here. And then we came up with this idea and it was just down here and we were on Skype together and we basically came up with this idea of a mountain. Now I wanted to do a sort of a mountain for them uh, in a square format. So it would look pretty cool. So I created this one here. Uh, I played around with the paths and the lines and everything else. And then we went up here. And we created this one right here, which is upward just there. We knew what font we wanted to use, which was brand and grotesque because it has a good amount of font usage to it. And we also have upward here and we have it here in this icon. Now this one was a game changer because then we use the negative space as the sky. And then we use the negative space as the ground and conforming to a mountain, but also an arrow, which is pretty cool. This was actually a happy accident and the logo designs that I always create are normally accidents because it's all about finding that one where you go, aha, we have a concept. And at this point right here, we had a concept. And then that's where the work starts. 
where we really have to go ahead and finalize it. So I went here and created this one and we rounded the edges of this one right here, just to see what it would look like. And we made everything a bit more round. We fitted it with this text here. Now, the reason why we rounded the edges of this is because we wanted to make sure that it fit with the font style that they were using. And when you do a style guide for a company or when you're creating stuff or a logo for a company, you need to be able to justify what you're doing. And we also need to have some consistency throughout so I created this little icon here, but we also had to conform to the font that we were using. And then we started playing around with other ideas, like what if it was uh, not so rounded in the corners? What would happen here? What if some parts of it were rounded, but some weren't? What if other parts were just taken off like this? Very abstract. Then we went and changed the shape on the outside. Like what would happen if we had it in a sort of speech bubble like this, and it looked pretty cool? What if we had it in a location bubble, which is this idea here? And what if we had it where we could go ahead and look at it and see it in its actual self, but masked in another shape? So we've got these ones here. And this is the process that we went through. We then created a new document somewhere around here, which is here. We start again with a new document and you can see there's so many different ideas going on for this logo and I did draw out a few of them but because we were limited to talking on the computer I was showing him what we were doing on the computer so we didn't use a sketchbook too much for this one. So then I like this idea of the negative space where we were punching the shape of the mountain out and then I liked it here as well and then we came up with this. This one right here. And how did we get up with that? Well, it was through a mistake. And I'll try and replicate that mistake to you. So basically, we used this shape here. We went ahead and we outlined the stroke. And we merged them together. And we released the compounding paths here. And then we got rid of the outside here with the Pathfinder tool, the Shape Builder tool. And then we went ahead and we made it all rounded. And this was the icon we we're looking at at first. We made some slight adjustments along the way. And we were just going through check, testing different thicknesses, like different compositions, as you can see here. We've got an upward church composition there. We've got a way of doing it here because it was all rounded. You can see here, we've got a nice comp there. We tested different borders as well after that again, like different ideas, just to make sure we had an idea that was solid. Then we had to go ahead and look at the mountain side of it. Like now we've got the concept. Now let's look at the mountains. And a lot of the time with logo design, the first idea is always the best. Like no joke, that one concept where you're like, aha, that's great. That's normally the best, but you have to keep going and pushing the boundaries. So we created these naff looking mountains here for a different logo shape to see what was going on, to see if we could better it. We also created different kinds of mountains. You can see here that this is the one here. And then we looked at this one here. It didn't look too well, it's too complicated. It didn't look balanced enough. We created one where it wasn't just the shape on the inside. We realized this one looked like too much like a different logo. And then we came to the color choice. And then when we came up with the color choice, we made this, even though this was to do with an older logo. Now the designer I was working with called Ryan, he was actually creating some other ideas along with this. And he created this one here, which was really nice. And I took inspiration from this and this is how he went across the board. Now, when you're working with a client who's already got a logo and you're rebranding them, you have to understand that they are looking for something kind of similar, but better. So that's what we were doing. We're working together on this to be better. And you can see here, we're looking at different things until we came up with this thing here, Upward Church. You can see that the sky here is blue and the ground is gray, which is the color scheme. And since then, we've gone ahead and we made this one, which is the final file for the logo design before the style guide was put in place. And you can see here, we chose the composition of how it's gonna be viewed. And we chose the composition of Upward Church right here for the website header. And you can see here on their website that they've got the logo here, right there. You can see that they've got the color scheme and the branding and all that and the fave con. 
Now, this is a super important part of logo design now is to make sure that it fits in a fave corner up here and it does pretty well. And when I checked out the Instagram, you can see the signage here for the church right there. And you can see the colors are a bit different because of the filter that was added, but you can see that the style is there. This isn't a mock-up, this is the actual signage that was made. And it was made it with the idea of having a sign that could be seen and having an icon that could be used into an app, a favor con, and also with text. If you enjoyed this video, press that subscribe button down below. It would be awesome for you to join the family and to also press that little what's it called? A little bell button right there. And that basically notifies you whenever I upload a video onto YouTube. And if you're really awesome, like this video and share it to your favorite social media. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon. This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design boot camp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or click the link in the description below.